Division. Today we also got the Super Stocks. You bring your rule book, you run our tires, you can be out here. It's the same guy that's been fast out here at Golden Sands every Friday night. Let's get it up for Sean Stelzer. Sean, didn't you have to put a new motor in this car on Friday night? Uh, no, I uh, found out that it was just a distributor that went out. All right, so you didn't have to work as hard as I thought you did. Nope, not as hard as I thought I had to. <laughs> All right, Sean, uh, we got some fast cars here today. We're going to just invert you. We got no challenge or anything, but I see you got some sponsors. Why don't you give us a couple of them real quick? Uh, Point Special Beer, D&D uh, &D Amusement, R&R &R Construction, Horse and Round Saloon, River City Tap. All right, come on over here. Let's roll this dice, and then we'll get you guys in the pit so we can let these little guys race. Just roll us for a, or invert in the field of the roll. A six. You're going to run them straight up. A six up there in the tower. All right, let's give it up for Sean Stelzer. Speed looking them over. Green flag. We're going racing. Off and running, Robinson getting the good jump at the drop of the green. Oh, he got trouble already as Bloshy gets turned around in a 74 car. Caution on the speedway. All right, picking up the pace. We'll do her once again here. Green flag, we're going racing. Robinson once again getting that jump from the outside of the front row. Brady Baldry in the 34 working on Stanley there for the runner-up spot. Sarah Blaschi in that 74 car on the move as well. Brian Gansky down to the inside of her now. Gets down behind the 44. Stanley trying to make some racing room down there. Blaschi gets the 74 a little squirrely in turn number two. Loses some ground as Robinson stretching her out here a bit. Brady Baldry in the runner-up spot in car number 34 and the leader in trouble robinson loses the handle in turn number two all by himself up front then goes around he gets back going so no caution on the speedway watch the action for third place three wide brady baldry now your leader brian gansky in the runner-up spot there's stanley in the 44 being challenged by the a13 jeff walrabe in the a13 car into the third spot Gansky up the racetrack has trouble and he'll head to the pits. Brian Gansky to the pits in the 31. Baldry still your leader. Brady Baldry in car number 34. Baldry been the runner up spot. Now the 3S from the back of the pack. That's shot there in the 3S in the third position. Sarah Blaschi showing forth in car number 74, working hard trying to get toward the front. Here's your leader right here, seven complete. Brady Baldry in the 34 car showing the way. Ballrave in the A13 in a runner up spot. Shot showing third, then it's Sarah Blaschi. Robinson in the 3D in the top five. Brian Schmutzer trying to move up a spot right there. Closing in on halfway. Nine in with 11 to go. Brady Baldry having a field day up front. Still has a little bit of breathing room. He comes up on Ben Ernst. Put Ben a lap down here in the 78 car. Ben moving up to the high side to let everybody go by. Jeff Walrabe still in the A13 car, trying to close the gap. Not having any luck there. Holding on to that second spot. Then the 3S, Denny Shot in the third position. 11 complete. Blaschi and Schmutzer still nose to tail, showing fourth and fifth. Then Dale Robinson in the 3D, trying to get closer to the front E. Hangs her out a little bit in turn number four. Battle for fourth place. Schmutz her down to the inside of Sarah Blaschi. Here's your leader right here, the 34 of Brady Baldry. Still hanging tough out front with seven to go.
top four finishers will advance to the feature. Top four finishers will advance to the feature. So right now, Brian Schmutzer has himself into that fourth spot. So if he hangs on there, he'll be all right. We've got five laps to go right now as the leaders come up on some lap traffic. Going around Ben Ernst once again. Stanley there in the 44. We'll go a lap down as well. Oh, and now the top three right nose to tail. It's going to be a race here. The 34 of Brady Baldry with some company. He's got Jeff Walrabe right on his heels now in the A13. There's the 3S of Denny Schott trying to take a shot at second place. Brian Schmutzer in a white 55 is your fourth place car. Those top four will advance if it stays like this. What a battle up front. I'm going here. Look at him go at it. Still Brady Baldry hanging tough. Two laps remaining. We'll be looking at the white flag next time by. Look at those guys go at it. Walrabe in the A13 and shot in the 3S. They're taking her maybe just a bit easy, though, because they know they're going to make it to the main event right where they're at. White flag is out, but Roy, here comes the A13. Walrabe trying to make a pass for that top spot, side by side down the back stretch on the final lap. Baldry to the inside, Walrabe to the high side. Oh, contact from shot. Here they come to the finish. Oh, oh my gosh. The 34 of Baldry gets her loose at the finish, but still hangs on. Thirty-five here this afternoon at Golden Sand Speedway for the CarQuest Coca-Cola Superstock Division. We'll start right up here on the front row. Your pole sitter this afternoon out of Stevens Point, Wisconsin in the Route 66. Tap and grill Thunderbird number six. Give it up for Matt Rikuski. Outside of that front row out of Arkdale, Wisconsin. And the American Auto Body number 20. How about a nice hand for Josh Olson? Inside of row number two. Our other number 20 car this afternoon making a visit with us. Good to have him here. Computers for you. Number 20 of James Krischke, the third. Outside of him, a regular always down to the Marshfield Super Speedway. Car number 28 out of Marshfield in the Budweiser Mobile. How about a nice hand for Larry Schultz? Row number three to the inside from Wisconsin Rapids in the somewhere else bar. Number 78. Nice round of applause for Scott Hamill. Outside of him in car number six, the superior safe and security machine. A nice hand for Dino Dave Knightsky. Row number four to the inside. You've seen this guy here in Victory Lane many a time. Never know, might see him there today. And the Randy O'Keefe trucking number 24X. A nice hand here for Keith Bonesaw. Outside of row number four. He put on a show here a couple of weeks ago, won the Concy, won the semi-feature, and was working on the feature win as well. Did a lot of racing that night in the favor implement number 75. Give it up for Chris Brooks. Next in line, one of the ageless veterans out here in car number four, the TJ's Auto and Collision Center Monte Carlo of Merle Weinfurter. Alongside of him in car number seven, this guy had a good run going here on Friday night. All kind of went away, got involved in a little incident, and not really a his doing. The turbo wash, car number seven of Jim Cormack. Inside the next row, car number 16, one of the young guns out here. Always does a great job here every Friday night. The point auto, number 16 of Jeremy Toyak. Alongside of him, car number 99. Oh, he's racing hard out here. The Midwest trailer sales machine of racing Jason Kersling. Next row back, this guy puts on a show. Speedway is up. Good hard runner out here in the Marshfield Glass, number one. A nice hand for Tim Hintz. 
your fast timer this afternoon. He's been setting fast times wherever he goes. In the point special beer, number 40 out of Wisconsin Rapids. Give it up for Sean Stelzer. Next row back, about his first full season in the Super Stock Division. a graduate of the Pure Stock Division here at the Speedway. The Handy Andy Express Trucking, number 30 of Kenny Swika. Alongside of him coming down here out of Clintonville, Wisconsin, won the street stock feature Thursday night at State Park Speedway, trying his hand with the Supers here today. The Zeb Salvage 08 of Mike Kasparic. Next row back, the winner of our last chance event in the A13, the Thumper Performance Machine of Jeff Walrave. Give it up. Outside over here in the 34 car, finishing in the runner-up spot with a spin at the end there. Out of the Kakana area, let's have a nice hand to Springbrook tap number 34 of Brady Baldry. And our final row coming to us out of Rochester, Minnesota in the shot repair number 3S. Give it up for Denny Shot. And last but not least, Moving up just a few weeks ago into the super stock ranks. Run with the mini stocks last year in the 55 car here. Let's have a nice hand for Brian Schmutzer. There's your field for this afternoon's Conquerors Cup 35. For the Caution light goes out, staged and ready to go. Ray Kuski and Olsen facing the field. Green flag, we're going racing. Olsen to the high side in the 20, trying to gain the advantage on Ray Kuski. Side by side to lap number one. Almost too close to call there. 28 of Larry Schultz right on the heels of Olsen in that high groove. Those cars with similar paint schemes on them. The black number 20 down to the inside. Jim Kruschke the third working hard. Schultz getting her loose in the 28. In the second corner hangs tough. Olsen now takes over in the red and black number 20. Three laps into it. 78 is Scott Hamill in the top five. Keith Bomsock in the 24X. Dave Knightsky in six. Working side by side for position. Merle Weinfurter in that mix there as well. It's the 20 of Josh Olson showing away. Larry Schultz trying for that second spot to the high side of the six of Matt Rikuski. Kuski in the black number 20, showing forth Scott Hamill, still in the top five. Josh Olson in the 20 car, by two car lengths over Larry Schultz out front. Lots of heavy traffic here further back. Everybody trying to work on through. Sean Stelzer, our fast qualifier, Still stuck in traffic way deep in the field. Larry Schultz in the 28 right on the heels now. Josh Olson for that top spot. Kruski in his number 20 to third. Up to fourth comes the 78 of Scott Hamill and Keith Bomsock. Into the top five in the 24X. Matt Rikuski now showing in sixth. Burnt Weinfurter in seventh. Side by side battle for the lead. Ten laps into it. Watch the action right here for that top spot. Larry Schultz now, your leader in the 28. some traffic 
Rorabe and the 34 of Baldry will be going a lap down. Here's your leader, the 28 of Schultz, then the 20 of Josh Olson. Boomsock now to third in the 24X. Merle Weinfurter showing in. Scott Hamill still hanging on to fifth in the 78. Jeremy Shimkoyak making a little progress up to the sixth spot in 16. Tim Hintz also trying to work on in there. Off the pace on the backstretch, the 34 car, Brady Baldry. Looking for an opening here. I believe he'll be taking her up to the high side here. Still the action up front, the 24 X of Boomsock on the move into that runner up spot right on the heels now of Larry Schultz. A battle for the lead. Schultz and Boomsock, Weinfurter in third, Olsen fourth, Hamill still runs fifth. Hinson Shimkowiak going at it for six, and uh, there goes Schultz way to the high side, coming out of turn number two, and Boomsock to the inside for the lead. Gates Boomsock, now your new leader. Halfway through the contest, Boomsock now leads over Larry Schultz and Merle Weinfurter. Schultz now going to try to hold off Merle Weinfurter for the runner-up spot. Scott Hamill now up to the fourth spot. Josh Olson dropping back in the red and black number 20. Now the battle for second place. Weinfurter to the inside. Schultz to the high side here for second spot. Your leader, Keith Bonesock, trying to check out from the field here. Has a good margin built up. Weinfurter now in the runner-up spot over Larry Schultz. Scott Hamill now with some company as Tim Hintz is right there in the top five. 16 of Shimkoyak battling with Kersling and Stelzer. Still Bonesock with that nice lead down the back straight away. Working around here to lap 24. Trying to take home the victory here this afternoon. Weinfurter in that runner-up spot. Schultz showing third. Tim Hintz working his number one car into the fourth spot now. Battling there with Scott Hamill. Hamill giving him a good run. Great race in action, non-stop here for the Superstocks. There's your leader, Keith Bonesock, still hanging on. Larry Schultz in that third spot, followed by Tim Hintz and Scott Hamill, the top five. Kersling, Shimkoyak, and Stelzer all battle for sixth. Eight laps to go. Your leader working through some traffic, putting a lap on Mike Kasperic. Heads it down the front straightaway. Good hard run going for Keith this afternoon. Merle Weinfurter still comfortable in that runner-up spot, followed by the 28 of Larry Schultz. Tim Hintz closing in there to challenge for third. Next time by, we'll have just five laps to go. Your leader goes by to complete lap number 30, the 24 X of Keith Bonesock. Over the 24 now of Merle Weinfurter. Tim Hintz now up to third, gets by Larry Schultz's 28 car. Scott Hamill having a dandy day after all of his hard luck out here. Is hanging on to fifth. Just three to go. Here comes your leader right here. Bonesock continuing on. Lots of traffic in front of second place Weinfurter. And now Hintz making a challenge on Weinfurter. Weinfurter gets loose in the second corner. And Hintz will go after third place, or second rather. Here they come to the white flag. Got some dust kicked up over in the third turn there. 
White flag in hand here, and it will fly for Keith Gomesock. One to go. Final lap around the course. Some smoke coming out of the six of Dave Knightsky as we get to the end of it here. More dirt down to the course. Checkered flag will fly. Keith Gomesock will win our Conqueror's Cup 35 this afternoon. Tim Hintz in the one car will edge out Merle Weinfurter for second. Larry Schultz hangs on for the fourth spot. And Scott Hamill in the 78 will round out the top five. out of the six of Dave Knightsky as we get to the end of it here. More dirt down to the course. Checkered flag will fly. Keith Bromsock will win our Conqueror's Cup 35 this afternoon. Tim Hintz in the one car will edge out for a wine.